Hello friends, I'm Dr. T. I'm wishing you a great summer today. I'm putting my cardiology hat. We're going to look at what is killing us, heart attacks, and we are asking four questions. How common are heart attacks? What, in fact, is a heart attack? What are the top warning signs? And if you suspect you or somebody else is having a heart attack, what to do? And very important, what not to do? and we end up, as always, with a quiz time. Uh, let's get started. Uh, question number one, how common are heart attacks? In fact, one in three Americans will die of heart disease. More than 800,000 people die every year in the United States alone. The NIH, National Institute of Health, estimates 650,000 deaths per year. 11% of Americans have been diagnosed with heart disease, uh, one in every nine. And many, uh, regrettably, do not know they actually have it. Every 40 seconds, some American has a heart attack. And that is a lot of people. Uh, question number two, what is a heart attack? Heart attack occurs when one of the coronary arteries, the pipes that takes blood from the artery to the heart, gets blocked, not allowing blood with oxygen and nutrients downstream to that part of the heart. The severity will depend on the location of the blockage. For instance, uh, uh, main artery in front of the heart called left ear descending. If you have a proximal blockage, it will cause a lot of damage than if it's more uh, distal blockage. That's called proximal blockage on the left anterior descending, the main artery in front of the heart. This is called the widow maker. This guy seems to be in a hurry. Uh, question number two, what are the top warning signs of a heart attack? And uh, number one, chest pain, typically severe. The left uh, percorning, left anterior chest, uh, heaviness, uh, pressure. Uh, some people describe it as an elephant uh, sitting on the chest. Number two, uh, the chest pain may radiate to your jaw to your neck, to your left uh, uh, arm, uh, down the arm. Sometimes could be to the right shoulder or right arm, or even your back. Number three, you cannot breathe. You're having uh, shortness of breath out of the blue. Number four, you feel lightheaded and uh, dizzy. Uh, you feel a sensation you might uh, faint. Number five, you feel uh, sick to your stomach. You feel nauseated. You looks like you may uh, vomit, you may throw up. This is more common on the inferior wall heart attacks, the inferior wall of the heart, usually due to a blockage of the right coronary artery or, or potentially the uh, left circumflex. Number six, extreme fatigue, uh, tiredness, you can't do anything. And uh, number seven, a profuse cold sweating uh, with no other apparent reason. And uh, number eight, you may feel palpitations, uh, flip-flops, skipping beats, a sensation of pounding or racing in the heart. And number nine, all of this is usually associated with uh, a sense of impending doom, like uh, Dr. Uh, Rochelle Walensky, director of CDC, talking to us on TV uh, in the peak of the pandemic. And number 10, cardiac arrest. Uh, your heart goes into a racing lower chamber of the heart, it's called ventricular cardiac ventricular fibrillation, uh, that will require CPR or defibrillation. This is why you do not drive to the emergency room, you need a ride in an ambulance. What to do if you suspect yourself or somebody else to have an attack, what to do? Well, if you have been prescribed nitroglycerin and you have it, you can put one pill under your tongue and wait five minutes and repeat it times three. At 15 minutes, if you still uh, have pain and the pain didn't go away, you need to call an ambulance immediately. There is no room for delay or excuses. Again, do not drive or have your family member drive. A heart attack could evolve into a cardiac arrest. Your family member will not be able to handle it. In conclusion, heart disease is the number one killer. Uh, every 40 seconds, an American has a heart attack. It's critical to know the warning signs. Remember, time is muscle. Call 911. Do not delay. And lifestyle medicine can prevent the reverse coronary disease. However, this is not the time to bring in the spinach. This is the time to get to the emergency room as fast as possible so the cardiology team can work on you, take you to the cat lab, 
open the artery and limit the amount of damage they're going to have in your heart. And it's quiz time. So when uh, heart trouble is sensed, who waits at least two hours before going for help? Uh, children, uh, men, women, or both. Uh, so men and women usually wait up to two hours. There are always some kind of excuse. So, uh, symptoms of heart attack include palpitations, shortness of breath, uh, uh, dizziness, uh, or no symptoms at all, or all the above. And the correct answer is all the above. Special diabetics may have a heart attack and not have really much of symptoms. And remember, your health is too important to be delegated to others. Let's just take control. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell, write a comment. I'm trying to make these videos as interactive as possible. I publish these videos on the second and fourth Friday of each month. See you next video.